what's going on people welcome to another video on the channel and thanks for tuning into the channel once more so you would have realized if you were following the channel that i haven't posted in a lot of months right apart from the two videos that i did um with the ai voice the channel has been dormant for a while but nevertheless we're coming back with some videos yes guys believe it or not i actually made the thumbnail for this video many months ago and I formulated the script and everything but i didn't really get around to actually make the video but i was reading the glean online yesterday and i saw this article a duo who submitted fake cxc's at jcf recruitment drive pleaded guilty and I'm going to link the article in the description of the video so that you can read it for yourself and share with your friends. The article states that a man and a woman who submitted fake Caribbean examination council certificates that CXC in applying to join the Jamaica Constabulary Force today pleaded guilty to fraud and were fined a total of 700000 in the St. Catherine Parish Court. And I'm not going to call any names, I will just use their initials. The article further stated that RT pleaded guilty to uttering forged documents and was fined 300000 or 6 months in prison. DA who pleaded guilty to the same offence was fined 400000 or 6 months imprisonment. DH asked parish judge DA for time to pay the fine and was given until April 21st to do so. RT was represented by attorney at law, EH, who begged the judge not to impose a custodial sentence on his client. Ah uh, boy, while reading this, I had to shake my head because this is something that is not new, but over the past um, few years, it has been on the rise and people are actually smart enough, pun intended, to actually use fake documents to try and join certain organizations and i want to say that i am surprised but at the same time i am not really surprised because if there is a legit way there is always a backdoor deal but what is actually surprising is that they are individuals who are actually brave enough to try and use these fake certificates to try and join certain organizations such as the Jamaica Constabulary Force but there are persons who actually splash their cash to get different types of qualifications ranging from CXCs to CAPE or even college degrees yes you might be surprised some people might be hearing this for the first time while some might have an idea that the market exists for fake exam certificates and I am almost certain that someone will listen to this video in the near future who is in possession of um, a fake certificate and might want to use it to join an organization under the Ministry of National Security or maybe another organization but I want to encourage you not to try this because if you are caught you can get arrested and charged and brought before the court and it's quite ironic that people will actually try to join an organization that is responsible for upholding the law and order in the country using um, fake certificates and that's just outrageous if you ask me to me these individuals are either too smart for their own good or they are just oblivious of the fact that it is not that hard to figure out if these certificates are actually fake it doesn't really matter how close to the original the fakes are, um, there are always ways to confirm if they are legit. So for example, if the organization that is doing the recruiting really wants to know if these certificates are legit, all they have to do is just ask you to produce a transcript from CXC or whichever examination body, college or university that you claim to have receive your qualifications and we all know what will happen right you will not be able to produce the transcript why because you won't be in the system and if you are not in the system then this is an indication that you did not do the exams and as such 
you wouldn't have um, had a candidate number from CXC or an ID number from the college or university that you are claiming that you receive your qualifications. And even if you do exist in the system, right, let's say you have a total of five subjects on a quote-unquote preliminary slip from CXC and you take this to the organization and when the transcript comes back, you only have, let's say, two subjects. How is that going to look? Well, if you ask me, it looks one way and it is that you are involved in some form of fraudulent activity. And people, this is no secret. The JCF has stepped up its recruiting in an effort to boost the number of police officers across the island over the past few years. And when I was doing some research, I was somewhat alarmed by the fact that people would be so ignorant that they would actually turn up to a recruitment drive with fake certificates to actually try and join the police force. Well, there are several cases. Case number two, and this article was published on the 2nd of June 2021 by the CNW, and it states that the Jamaica Constabulary Force has recently reported an alarming uptick in the submission of fake academic certificates by new police applicants. The shocking trend in attempting to beat the vetting process was first discovered at the start of the year, that's 2021, when both the University of the West Indies Mona Campus and the region's Caribbean Examinations Council had alerted the public to a fraudulent online scheme offering forged certificates and degrees. And it was seen again at a recruitment drive that was held on May 22nd, 2021 as the organization continues to roll out a series of drives in several parishes with hopes of recruiting a total of 1,500 persons during the 2021-2022 fiscal year in order to bluster its manpower. So this article is somewhat outdated but the idea remains the same. People are going to far lengths to obtain certificates and degrees that they did not sit any exams or attend any school to obtain, but instead um, of actually going to school, they decide that, you know what, let me just pay John Doe money and call it a day. And the persons are willing to pay between $25,000 and $45,000 to get these fake qualifications. And this is the minimum because I have heard of cases where persons have paid a lot more. But here, this is the sad part, right? And this is also the interesting part of the article. JCF Recruitment Chief Deputy Superintendent DB said, It is a major issue. On several occasions, they have had to arrest individuals who present fraudulent documents at recruitment drives. So guys, there you have it. People are actually doing this on a regular basis. And I hope that somebody will get this message because they have already arrested several individuals at recruitment drives. Not one, but several. So I'm hoping that nobody who tunes in to this channel would fall in the same trap because if you ask me, these people are either too brave or too dumb for their own good. And just like um, these cases that I spoke about, maybe one day Jane Doe or John Doe um, was just scrolling through IG or Facebook and would have seen a JCF recruitment drive advertise and they just grab their fake documents and turn up to the recruitment drive, hoping to join the JCF only to be waltz away from the recruitment drive, getting in the wrong seat of the police service vehicle and end up joining the organization in a way that they weren't expecting. Now some might ask, why am I saying all of this? Well, my reason is that some people need guidance and I know a lot of young people tune into the channel. So I just want to say that if you really want something, then you should set up yourself to get it the right way. So if you are interested in joining the Jamaica Constabulary Force, the DCS, the JFB or the JDF, these organizations have their requirements. 
And for the sake of qualifications, people, at the moment, the JDF is the only organization that you can join without subjects. So if you are in high school or if you are out of school already and you have age on your side, don't waste your time and money purchasing fake certificates. Instead, go and do it the right way. Go to the six CRK classes that you need to do and don't stop until you get those subjects. Also, the JCF has lowered the bar where qualifications for joining are concerned. So at the moment, you only need four subjects to join, with English being the only mandatory um, subject that you need. So for people who don't have much in CXC, all you have to do is just practice and practice for the maths exam. And I know some people might want to say that um, they know people who have used fake certificates in the past to get through. But I got eight words for you. Puss and dog now have the same luck. So if you want to go down that road, then feel free to try your luck. And you'll find out if you are a puss or a dog. I think I've said enough for one video. So as per usual, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and share the video with someone that might find it useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I will catch you in the next one.